Hello viewers, this is the Smart Exceller. This video I'm going to show you how to con how to convert data from Power Query, how to move transport or logistics, which can we can say in different terms. So how to take data from Power Query to Power Cloud. So already you have seen this made this video, we can just refer to the previous video. So now we can see if I want to show you that I want to go see manage data models and uh, inside a data model it's empty so it doesn't have any anything so if you want to go to power pivot and uh, manage this is the same thing you can find this empty so this was a power query which has have, which I have been created and now this power query i want to transfer to power pivot so how to do that was the original question so the best thing is you can go and you can load to when you do a load to you can see add this to a data model so when you add this to a data model so it's showing that the table has been created and it's disconnected and all those if you if you do really don't care about this it also doesn't really matter so automatically the data is going to power field so inside a data model now you can see it is inside the data model. The, the question over here is now if suppose if you want to delete from this, so if if uh, if suppose I close this and uh, I create this, uh, I create this and add this to a data model. This is for you know, when I add this to a data model. So I have uh, this table is created from Power Query and this is direct creation. So when I delete this, so it's asking, are you sure you want to delete this table and including any associate measures? So I'll be doing, doing this like this. So you can see the table has gone, the table has vanished. But if suppose if I want to delete this, are you sure you want to delete this any associate measures? But the, I'm getting an error. This table was created with Power Query. To change this table, use Power Query instead. Now this is a big challenge now. now you can see that I cannot delete this. The system is not allowing me to delete this table. So, uh, if you want to, then if, if you want, you can delete this from uh, query and delete this connection. So automatically it will be deleted here. But I want to keep this my power query. I don't want to delete my power query. But I, instead, I just want to delete from here, which is not allowing me. So you can already have already seen that this is not allowing me. So what can be done is this all what this video is made for. So the best thing is you can again you can go to load load to data model and okay. So now yes you know you have added from here. You just have to do is just remove this. And uh, the table is already there. If you want you don't want a table, if you want a pivot table, so you can make this as a pivot table. So the table will be gone. So now if you do okay, and it's giving a warning that all the calculations and everything data model will be gone. So this many connections will be, will be losing. So do you want to continue if I do OK? So now you can see that if you go to Power Pivot. And if you go to Manage, now you can see the table has been deleted. So uh, many people have confusion in doing this. So I hope this video will clear the confusion and uh, it's a small thing, but it's uh, it will, it's was panicking a lot. So I hope you find this video useful and uh, this is the power query to power pivot. So I hope you share this video so many people can get the understanding of this. And apart from that, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell icon and uh, Please share this video so many ideas can be generated and please give me a comment section if you like or would like this video. And uh, thanks for watching and I wish to see you in the next video. And, uh, thanks for learning and keep learning. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.